Markdown, it is a lightweight markup language for text editing. By using that, we can turn few simple commands into this. So as you can see, using it is very convenient and practical. And this is the reason why it is extensively used in project descriptions and documentations. However, there is one field that it is not used as much, and that is in emails. Imagine a scenario where you need to inform somebody about some technical issue. In general, you have two alternatives, either by typing a long, boring mail or by creating a PDF, which takes time. So what we can do instead that is, use an extension named Markdown here. By using that, we can directly type Markdown on our mails or wherever we like on our browser. Then we can instantly toggle between Markdown and Transform's version. Now let's look at how we can do it. First, we head over to the Markdown Here's website. There, we go to the Get It section and choose the correct version for our browser. Since I'm currently using Chrome, I will be choosing that. And after that, we simply add it, just like that. Once that's done, we are ready to use it. However, before I do that, let's pin it into the extension section. That way, I can access it much easier. Anyways, now let's test it. To do it, I will be using an online notepad. However, you can try it on your mail client as well. There, let's quickly add some Markdown. Let's add an H1 header and follow that by a simple tape and finally let's add a simple git command snippet now once i click the extension icon there we go it simply transforms our markdown into a nice visually appealing version but assume that we have made a mistake and want to fix it. No worries, we can just click on the extension icon again and it will toggle back to the original text. It is as simple as that. And that said, this is the basic usage of Markdown here. Now keep in mind that this extension is not compatible with every single text editor and mail provider. So I highly suggest you to look into the compatibility section in the wiki page, which I will provide its link in the description down below. You can also learn more about the project from there as well. In the end, this is a pretty useful project in my opinion, especially for clear communication via email. So I hope you've enjoyed it and find it useful as well. If that is the case, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, take care.